The Office is a popular American sitcom that depicts the everyday lives of employees at the fictional Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. The Office is an example of postmodernism because of its style of filming, use of intertextual references, and multifaceted presence on the internet. Documentaries have been around since the invention of film in the late 19th century and sprang to popularity during the modernist period of the mid 20th century. Mockumentaries, or mock documentaries, are a relatively new genre of film. The mockumentary itself is postmodern, a rearticulation of the documentary film genre. The rearticulation refers to the mockumentary's copy of specific elements of the documentary, such as the single camera setup, use of talking head interviews, and the general concept that a real story is being chronicled. The mockumentary takes these ideas and emulates them through a different perspective to ironic and humorous effects. The mockumentary is hyper aware of the characteristics and confines of the documentary genre. During filming of this mockumentary, characters on The Office make numerous pop culture references. The Office is mentioning of other TV shows and films, such as Battlestar Galactica. Did you ever watch Battlestar Galactica? No. No? Then you were an idiot. The Apprentice. Oh my god, did you see The Apprentice last night? Of course. It's on every Thursday night, so how could I miss it? You didn't see it? No. I went out and got drunk with my laser tag team last night. Crap! I never go out on a Thursday night. What the hell was I thinking? And Lord of the Rings. Like that uh, dwarf from Lord of the Rings. Gimli. Nerd! Are examples of intertextual references characteristic of postmodernism. Intertextual references are emblematic of the hyperconsciousness of postmodern popular culture. A hyper-awareness on the part of the text itself of its cultural status, function, and history, as well as the conditions of its circulation and reception. Intertextual references such as these produce conditions of an ironic knowingness in the audience, as the viewer notices and understands the nod the office is giving to the existence of pop culture within the show's world. Postmodernism and the office can also be seen through the office's website, which shows the extreme to which the office has been commodified. Postmodernism is best understood as the end result of capitalism's relentless commodification of all phases of everyday existence. Media available on the website include blogs supposedly written by the characters on the show, as well as photos, games, and episode guides. Online-only videos are also available, such as webisodes and music videos that add additional layers to the show. A website for the fictional Dunder Mifflin Paper Company has also been created. The company website is surprisingly authentic and keeps up to date with the developments of the television show. The eclecticism of office-related media and activities available on the website allows for the niche interests of fans to be met and is distinctively postmodern. The idea of watching an episode of the show and then going online to experience more office-related media that reiterates the central themes and ideas of the show but in different, fresh formats is also very characteristic of postmodernism. Postmodernism is a simultaneity of these competing forms of rearticulation. The already said is being constantly recirculated, but from very different perspectives. The Office illustrates postmodernism with its intertextual pop culture references, mockumentary style, and eclectic array of Office-related media on its website.